I'm going to show you how the PLC panel in a real feed looks like. This is one of the S7-1200 PLC panel you can see here. If you come closer, you will see that. This is the first point where we have to connect our signal. Now, we are going to field level, where you will understand how the signal is coming from the field level to a PLC. Starting with the instrumentation in the field and we are at the moment in the field side where we have our transmitters. You can see it. You can see it, this one and this one. These are the sensing elements. You can say that these are there to measure the flow in these pipelines. So from there on, you can see these wires. These are going to our PLC. And I will show you where exactly it is terminating in a PLC end. Now we have discussed the field level. It's the time to get back to PLC panel and explain further. This is the first connection point where we are connecting our signals that are coming from the field end. I have showed you the field end. This is one of the transmitter you have seen there. So like in the field, we have transmitter, pressure switches and different other switches are there. So we are getting the signals from the field on this particular a connection point, or you can say it's an interface between your PLC IO cards and the field element. The signals you can see here are coming first on these TBs. From the output of these TBs, you can see the signals are going to the IO cards. You can see here, these are the IO cards. SMN, this is the SMN1200 PLC CPU. You can have a look at that. And it's, as we discussed in last class, SMN1200 PLC have its own inputs, digital inputs and outputs that are within their CPU. And we have some extension module you can see here as we discussed last time, SM1223. The signals from TBs are coming there and connecting over there. So now from the network point of view, you can see this is a network switch, a Profinet switch. You can say that where we have a cables coming from different devices like HMI. We have a connection to HMI from one of the cable and we have a connection to these servo drives from another cable. And this is how it is connecting actually. You can see here this safety relay is connected to the door interlocks and emergency stock. Apart from it, if you can see here in this panel, we have a power supply. This power supply, you are already aware, this is used to power up all the devices in the rack. Apart from it, you can see these are circuit breakers. If the power is coming from 220 volt, it have to pass through that and then it is going to power supply or any other device that is operating on 220 volt. So this is how it looks like when you talk about the S7-1200 PLC rack. We have checked our PLC panel. Now it's the time to explain the trying, how it looks like. 